<laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure. Uh, all right, so guys, we have a very special guest yeah. that we have calling in, and we don't have much time. So, special guest, are you there? Um, hi. It is Yay. Katie Sack. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm like, I'm um, high. I'm high. So, um, Christian gave me the wrong number, and this person, I think, almost shot me through the phone because I must have called five times. And the woman finally picks up the phone and goes, I told you you have the wrong damn number. <laughs> and, like, hangs up on me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Well, if you're going to throw me under the bus, I'm going to throw Ken Napsock under the bus because he's been texting Aww. you from my phone. So, uh, so it's Ken's phone. Was Ken the woman that answered yeah. the phone? Well, we only have Katie, well, Katie, we only have you for like yeah. five minutes, right? Yeah, we. Okay. So, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm. I'm in New Zealand, and the the time difference is a little crazy. So okay, it's so not actually. It's not that crazy. It's only like three hours, but um, it's like midday here. So uh, all right. So let's get into this thing. Yeah. So the, first of all, the the Power Rangers Power Rangers short that came out was incredible. By the way, I remember I I told everybody awesome. that you had told me about it when you were in here a few months ago, and I was like I couldn't say mm. anything, and I was so excited. And then I see it, and it was everything you said it was going to be as far as the dark, gritty tone. And so before we get into this bullshit that's been happening, um, the first thing I wanted to ask you was, can you tell us about the experience of making it and what the vision uh, that Khan had uh, to to make this particular version of it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, or, you know, pretty straightforward. You know, I, Addy Shankar called me. Um, I've known Addy for a couple of years now, and he literally called me. I was on set on Longmire last year, and he said, hey, I want to do... Um, I want to do another short like um, like I did for Punisher. And I was like, okay, cool. And he was like, um, for Power Rangers. And I literally thought about it for like 30 seconds and was like, um, yeah, totally. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, absolutely. Um, and he was like, yeah, William Lee's going to do it, and it's going to be awesome. And I was like, all right, I'm in. So um, I really didn't think that much of it. And he was like, it's going to be gritty you know we're going to do with it what we did with punisher not that you know that was such a departure from the you know the movie the punisher but you know he was like we're going to make it dark we're going to make it gritty we're going to make it the the way we would all want to see it as adults now having grown up on the show and having you know our 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 i don't know matured is the necessarily the wrong way but our, our tastes kind of have matured with our age and you know just make it dark so I don't know. It was cool. It was pretty easy to, to jump on board. So, and then I got the script and I was like, holy shit. Like, well, they're actually, do I thought it was going to be like two minutes. It's like, yeah, absolutely. Two, a couple minutes. It'll take like half a day to shoot it. And then they're like, we're going to need you for four days. Wow. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. Yeah, Katie, uh, Mark yeah. Ellis on your horn. It sounds like <laughs> it, it went, it went fantastic. My question to you is where can I see this lovely short? Because I hear nothing but great things about it. <laughs> Yeah, it's so funny. Um, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that was the question. So. That, but Katie, so this, so we were talking about this fair use issue here, and I know that you know both. Now, yeah. you, the director has been tweeting out about how he's getting harassed by the by the the, mm. the creator of Power Rangers. What? Why? I think that it's horseshit because you know it, this is obviously it was a parody. It was it was a lot. It was it was made mm. with his own money. It wasn't there were, you guys weren't collecting any money for the film. Yeah, so right. How, how are you feeling that this thing's getting yanked all over the place? Well, listen. I mean, I just think it brought more publicity to it. So whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, at the end of the day, and on any given day, you can go online and you can see dozens if not hundreds of fan videos that that nobody really does anything about because they're parodies and that's you know it's it's a it's it's paying homage to something that you respect and you right. admire and you right. want to be a part of and and you know it's i mean jesus christ elijah woodwing made one and it got him cast in lord of the ranks so let's be honest <laughs> you know i mean it's it's um people people do these fan videos um to pay respect, you know, right. and and uh, no one has a problem with any of them online. So the fact that this one did, it's an interesting thing. What fear does to people? It's true, so, and you know, you bring up fear. All. Is that the guy who played the original Green Ranger? He came out and spoke against it, you know, but the, uh, how that he didn't like the violence of it and everything too. I think he's just trying mm. to get recast in the movie. But like, as far as the the question I have to use because this thing did catch fire. I mean, it caught fire. And mm -hmm. what what were the reactions like for you? Like, what when when you knew that this thing really hit? Yeah, you know, it was so funny because I was sitting here and, you know, I'm, I, like I said, I, I, I'm in New Zealand, so I feel sort of like removed from it, even though, I mean, it's not like I'm in, you know, they do have internet here. <laughs> but it's, You're in middle it's, I just feel like I've been a little removed from all of it. And um, um, I think that I've been looking at my phone for the last couple of days and I kept looking at, at Carl going, oh my God, it's a million. Oh my God, it's two million. Holy crap. It's like you wake up in the morning, it's like five million. Yeah. And, and, um, 
it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I did when, when Battlestar just kept getting picked up when I was like, it's just a little show called Battlestar Galactica, yeah, you know, right. and it, it just kind of grew from there. So I don't know. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. You know, I think it's pretty amazing. It goes to show that, you know, there's enough people out there that want to see, that, that wanted to see it. And that, but also, at the end of the day, respect and admire and grew up watching and idolizing Power Rangers. That's what this whole thing's about, you yeah. know? Mm. It wasn't about making money. It was just about going out for, you know, a couple of days, working for free and having fun. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just do art for the sake of having fun and doing art. You're yeah. an artist. Now, look, Katie, last time you were here in the studio, we were asking you, we were throwing you, hey, what if we give you a Star Wars movie to be in, or what if we give you a Marvel movie? If they came to you and they're like, you know what, we really like that short, would you want to be in the Power Rangers film if it went to that level? What would your reaction be then? I don't know. I can't speak in hypotheticals. Whoa. You know, I mean, Katie, it uh, seems you know, like what, you're avoiding no me. I'm like, what, what calls have you gotten? Have you gotten any surprise calls since this video went up? Oh, a ton, but like I said, because I'm in New Zealand, I'm not really paying attention to any of it. You know, my manager is, is kind of, yeah, I mean, it's been kind of huge. It's, it's interesting that, I don't know, it's, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't even have a comment. I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty blown away by the whole thing, to be honest. And as I, mean, I mean, I'm... Sorry, I was just saying you should be because it, it is. It was really well done. It was a great back and forth. It was the, the back and forth between you and Vanderbeek was incredible. Mm -hmm. And now, before I let you go here, did, had you ever met Vanderbeek before? Or was this the first time you guys worked together? No, I haven't. Um, we met at our the uh, the kind of like our slash wardrobe fitting hair shot things where we kind of like showed up in a warehouse and they were like sure you can wear that wow. <laughs> it was pretty amazing i mean wardrobe it, it, everyone worked for free on this thing and i i knew that we were in for something pretty special when i walked in and the wardrobe the the wardrobe the style the stylized wardrobe on this was so similar in what I saw on Riddick and yeah. just like racks of this crazy futuristic looking clothing that was like, you know, literally duct taped together. So yeah. it's, not yeah. like, it's not like the clothes like, you know, were pretty actual. It was just amazing. So yeah. it was, I don't know. I kind of, at that point I realized that I signed up for something that was going to be bigger than I ever dreamed. Yeah, well, it was it was really it was done very well, mm -hmm. and the fact that everyone's been talking about it. Yeah. I mean, I hope to see it mm -hmm. soon. That's yeah. my goal. Apparently, it's still on YouTube. Yeah, people yeah. say. Okay, I don't know if it's I'm be sure you out. can find yeah. it. Yeah, you know that's, that's the thing about the internet. You know, it's just like new new photos. You take one, it never dies. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, well, <laughs> once, well, once it's on the internet, it's done. It's true. Well, you know, and then what they say as far as with the publicity of it, because my personal feelings of it was that the. The powers that be that are making the actual movie saw how like the the reaction right, of was. the tone, and they went, "That's not the movie we're making, shit!" And they got scared, like you said. And I think that now mm. what's happening is that you're getting um, you're you're getting all this like publicity from it. And I think that regardless of what happens, I think that people now will really pay attention to everyone involved in this film. Yeah. Yourself, I think director. You've won. Yeah, I think that you guys absolutely run. Yeah, no, I don't, I listen, I mean, from your mouth to God's ears, but I think, it, I think people are just, at this point, everyone's just kind of, number one, blown away by, by just the, 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 the brilliance of what Joseph and, and Addy and the vision that they had and they created. But at the same time, I think people are shocked that, you know, sometimes as actors, you go out and you just, like, everyone keeps calling my manager going, why did she do this? And it's like, because she wanted to have fun. Yeah. She, like, when she was nine years old, you know, wanted to be the Pink Power Ranger. So why, why wouldn't I let her do it? It sounded awesome. You know what I would say yeah. when they asked so, me, what is your manager? Because everyone is talking yeah. about it. That is why it was a brilliant move. It was very exactly. smart. Yeah. Katie, I have anyway, one more question um, for you. Um, why, yeah. why New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's I nice mean, but why are you there? What do you do? Isn't it, isn't it like a, it's like a beautiful place to visit? It's lovely. Right? Everyone should go to New Zealand and to Australia. Do you have hotspots, Alicia, that you can recommend to Katie that are in New Zealand? I drove from Christchurch down to Queenstown, and it was so beautiful. It is Middle Earth. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I rented a motorcycle, and for three days, um, wow. have been kind of like riding around, so and, and it's there's. 
it's pretty pretty amazing actually Gorgeous. well okay, listen go enjoy it have fun <laughs> thank you so much for for calling in and congratulations on the show to kick ass you kicked ass and i'm sure a lot of great things are going to come for it mm -hmm. and we look forward to having you back in studio when you're in town and make absolutely and make sure that it, yeah hopefully uh hopefully it uh pops up someplace soon so everyone can keep watching it it will and, and when we find it we'll we'll tweet it out hey, hey tell the director to come on too because we want to talk to him <laughs> uh, but katie, yeah no i absolutely will awesome. okay. all right have fun and we'll talk to you soon. All right. katie sack bye everybody. guys bye. that was awesome I decided I was going to do this. I just realized that it resonated with people on a, on a level that uh, I had never anticipated.